Go on in. Shit. It's a massive brown. Beautiful brown. G'day everyone. Welcome to another episode. And I'm just about to say, I hope it's all worth it. Because I've just abseiled down. <laughs> you could just about say, I abseiled down to get it down here. I couldn't work out if this is going to work out, but uh, I've made it down to a creek chasing trout. Well, so I've made it down, and where I first got down is another step down, um, and I'm going to try the bullet minnow straight up. I've had success with this with redfin, but I reckon that white minnow coloured cream, maybe fluoro on the bottom top. I reckon that might go off for the trout. That's if there is any in here. I have fished sections of this creek before and discovered that there is trout lurking around the place. Yeah, so see how we get on. Just hiding behind this bush. And I'll flip one down in that torrent. Oh, that went further than I expected. Oh yeah, they look good in the water. I'll just go through what I'm using. I bought this $78 Air 2000 because I have gone ass up with it trout fishing before and it's got scuffed up and that's why I went with the cheaper reel. I've got the, uh, what am I running with the rod? It's a um, one to two kilo line weighted rod and it casts one to five grams. It's a very finesse style of rod. I reckon it's perfect for this style of fishing. You see if there's one right up in there. Followed by a big trout, guys. Wow. Oh, I just had a fella. Oh, I just had a fella. No. No, no, no. It works. <laughs> oh, please, can I land one? Please. Mouth open and all. No oh, why? Got him! Shit! It's a massive brown. Beautiful brown. There we are. It gets off, it gets off. Oh, what a brown trout. You ripper. Wet and damp here, so should be right. You yeah, beautiful, nice fish that deserves a piggy. Put the hand. Oop. Oop. 
hooked in there too good, unfortunately. I'll try and do my best to unhook it without hurting it too much. Here we have it. First brown trout of the day. See you later. And he just cruises off. You ripper. We're on the board. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I might actually crush these barbs just looking at them. Should have done that earlier. I'll just crush these. Because that was plenty hooked up enough. We're on the board with a nice trout. I'm not worried about measuring. I couldn't give a stuff how big they are. We get the idea. That was big. Beautiful colours. Hopefully more to come. I should have had three by now, but to, not, not to worry. That's from casting way back there over this log and I didn't expect to catch one in the torrent. I was shocked at the size. I, was, <laughs> I wasn't expecting one that big, to be honest. The trouble with these lures is they foul up on you. And when you cast, so you, sometimes you get a dud cast with them. Oh, oh, just had a good fellow. Bugger. Looked like a rainbow too. Been getting that lately. Been getting a few tap, a few uh, fellows in the stream. Bugger. I felt a tiny tap. And then it's seen me up on the bank. Right, so I've actually walked further downstream as quietly as I can. And I'll walk back up towards where I parked the car. Yes! Nice brown. Wow! Oh, look at that! What a nice brown trout that is! You ripper! Another one around that 40 centimetre mark. It's engulfed the lure. The one that got my thumb starting to sting. Ouch! That hurts. I didn't think I got it. I didn't think I hooked myself that deep. Bloody hell, it hurts now. Hee 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 hee. Another beautiful brown trout of around 38 centimetres, I'd say. Let's put it back nicely. See you later. And there it goes. Oh geez, that took off quick. Yep, there. Nice and healthy. Swim back up there. Beautiful. You ripper. This bullet minnow is starting to do the job. I did try a few other lures before. I didn't bother showing you. I just kept, I went back to this one, it's done the trick. So this bullet, you know, does catch trout. Like I said, I'm not worried about measuring them, and I sort of got an idea how big they are. Jesus, smashed it. Using that light drag as well. Got that drag set to like 500 grams. Doubt there'll be another one in there. Let's have a look in that corner, I've got it. Def, you generally only get one trout per hole. I'm not going to be standing here catching schools of them, I wouldn't have thought. It's definitely, the creek's looking healthier than it did back in March. 
Right, a bit of a flick along here before the... Oh, I think it was March, maybe it was April. Could have even been May. <laughs> I don't know now. It was earlier in the season and it was very, very low um, and not much going on. I have seen a dead rainbow trout along here when I come here last. Someone's caught it, put it back and it didn't come too good, so... And I scooped it up and checked the, the colour of it and it was a rainbow. So it must be a mixture. Rainbow and brown. Yeah, okay, so that's that one. Oops. Next pool. There's bigger pools this time of the year. It's in the middle of winter now. We've got a decent chance of catching a few. Right back there. Big wind knot in my line, who cares? <laughs> Massive wind knot. I'm going to have to convert this rod reel to mono. This was an unplanned fishing trip. I just chucked a rod and reel in the car and uh, I sort of had other errands to do today nearby. And I thought, ah, what are the chances? And the weather's been terrible. You wouldn't think you'd be out in this, but I'm out here and two trout so far. In about an hour. I've only been in the water for an hour. Obviously it seems quicker on the video. Because <laughs> of editing. But really, realistically, I've only been turning the, the, the reel on the handle for about an hour. Maybe just over. So I've caught a trout in this section here, which earlier in the uh, year or season the yeah, Easter time there's a few spots up further but I've got a bit of a sore back I've had one for months oh you're not going to believe this but I've just seen a trout and it had that piece of twig on it and it didn't take it and now I'm snagged so I can't get that trout now and I'm coming up here to spook the hell out of the pole. There's a trout down there and I uh, unfortunately that piece of twig that was on it had it fooled and Yeah, I'm not going to get him now. He followed the lure. Got him! Oh, done him! No! Oh, no! He felt that. I didn't realise I had one on. Damn it! It was that small. I reckon that was a small rainbow. They're usually small. They take off pretty quick though. Once you hook them and you've spooked them, that's it. You only get one shot. Felt like a piece of snag. I'm going to leave things there at the side of this creek today. It's uh, quite dark now. It doesn't appear to be on camera, but it's getting a bit late for the trout, I think. And uh, yeah, definitely keeping this spot in mind. And hopefully get more than two. But I did see about six fish all up, including the ones I landed. So I could have landed six fish today, but I only landed two. So we'll leave things there. And just before we leave things there, I'd just like to announce that we've just made over, just over 500 subscribers for the channel. That is fantastic. Can't thank everyone enough for the support, their comments, hitting the like button, sharing the videos. In fact, uh, I recently discovered in my uh, monthly newsletters that a lot of people are sharing the videos. That's fantastic. And I can continue to come to places like this and create more, hopefully more trout videos. Thanks very much for watching.